Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you is how to utilize layer effects, but in a folder and put every layer effect into a folder instead of going into each individual layer and adding effects that way. And I'm going to show you the really cool feature of the reason that I want to do it that way later on in the tutorial. So if you are ready to go, let's jump right into this. So let's say that we're going to be creating a YouTube thumbnail or some kind of graphic for a customer or your own brand out there. So first and foremost, we're going to need a cool background. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in this nice weathered gray wood background that I created before that. Once I do that, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the new folder. I'm not going to click on the new layer. I'm going to click on the new folder. And I'm actually going to call this layer effects because that's where we're going to put in all of our layer effects. Now, instead of clicking outside of that folder and creating a new layer to put text on, I'm going to click on the layer effects folder, and then I'm just going to come over here and grab my type tool, and I am going to type the word stroke. Now, I'm going to center this up, and it doesn't matter what color you use. I'm just using all white just so you can see it better here on this tutorial. Now, instead of double-clicking on the stroke to open up the layer effects, I'm actually going to double-click on the layer effects folder itself. Now, I'm doing this for one of two reasons. One, I can do everything that I want to this text without having to exit out and go back and edit the text later. So if you don't have these two stroke options right here under the layer style, all you actually have to do is come down here and click on this little FX button, which just stands for effects, and you can grab another stroke right here. I've already got my two, so we're going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to click on this first stroke, which is going to be the top stroke, which is going to be the stroke that is going to be closest to the text that we have on the screen right now. And I'm going to fill this in and it came up black for me, right? But you can come in here and you can do a red, you know, you can adjust the color and have it whatever you want. I'm actually going to keep it black for this tutorial just to give it a little bit of definition. Now, the biggest concern and the biggest thing that you have to be concerned with with this type of stroke is the position. You don't want it on the center because it's going to give your text a weird effect. Again, you don't want it on the inside because it's even going to make that weird effect even more drastic. You want to make sure the position is on the outside. Now, I gave this a really fat stroke of about 40. You know, you could take it down to 30. Whatever your preference is, you can go really big at 50 if you'd like. But from my look, I like 40. And I'm going to keep the capacity or the opacity at set at 100%. Now I'm going to move on to the second stroke. So I'm just going to turn that on. And for this intent and purposes for this tutorial, I'm going to keep this at yellow. However, I want to show you that I went a little bit bigger on the size. I went to 55. And the reason I did that, that's giving it that second stroke look. So if I just turn the top one off, you can see how big that stroke actually is. It's huge, right? It's 55 pixels coming off that. But it's got a stroke on top of it, which is set to 40 pixels right here. So you have the one that's at 40, which is the black stroke, which is like kind of like the second layer of this layer style. And then you have the one that's at 55 pixels, which is the third layer in this layer style. I'm going to move this window just slightly so you can kind of see what's going on here. So this looks really good. It's giving us a lot of pop. It's giving us that two stroke effect. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a color overlay to this. Now, I have it selected to green, like I said, for this tutorial. But let's say that you were doing a YouTube thumbnail. You really want your thumbnails to stand out from everybody else's. So this might be a good look in combination for you. So on this color overlay, the reason I like this is we're actually changing the color of the text without having to exit out of the layer style window that we're already working in and go down here to the actual text layer. This is the reason that I like using the layer effects as a folder, because whatever layer we put in there, the actual properties, every layer style that we have in that layer effects folder is going to be applied to whatever layer you put into that folder. So I'm going to keep this set to green and I'm going to keep the opacity at 100%. Now, as like I said, if you keep it just like this, it would look fine but it's missing a little something to me. And I like to add drop shadows to give my fonts and text a little bit of depth, especially on YouTube thumbnails. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on drop shadow. Now you can see it added a subtle drop shadow here and I'm gonna move this layer style window a little bit more. 
but you can really tell now it looks like it's actually off of that wood background there is a multitude of layers here there's a nice depth of field and it's just adding a little bit more to what this text is actually offering now you can come in here and you can change this around you know you can change the angles you know the 16 or whatever looks good to you i'm going to keep mine set to 100 and i put the opacity at about 60 percent now you know you can jack this all the way up to 100 but to me that looks pretty bad and if you go any lower than 50 it kind of loses something especially on this background so i'm going to keep it at 60. now the blend mode if i put it at normal it looks fine, but for whatever reason, this is a personal thing for me, I like to put it on multiply. Don't ask me why, it's just a personal preference. Two other things that I wanna bring to your attention though, in the drop shadow layer style menu is going to be the contour and the anti-alias. I keep that off. Now the contour, if you're first doing this, you're probably gonna have it set to that. The one that looks just like a cross. It looks like a little flag right here, right? But you can see that really took the drop shadow away and it's not giving us that depth that we're looking for. So the one I like to use in this instance is the one that kind of looks like a nice rolling wave right here on the very end top right. So watch the drop shadow as I click on this. It gives it a little bit more definition. It doesn't make it darker. Remember, because we turned the opacity down to 60 and set the blend mode to multiply. So now if I click on OK, this looks really nice, right? We've got two strokes, nice colors, plus the drop shadow. It's giving us a lot of depth. This is how you want to do it, especially if you're making YouTube thumbnails. Now, as I said, the really cool thing about putting everything into an, a layer effect folder instead of actually doing it on the layer is everything that you put in the layer effect folder all those layer effects, all the layer options that we did will be applied to that layer. So I'm gonna close this, actually reduce it a little bit, and I'm gonna open this back up and I'm gonna hide the stroke layer. So what I'm gonna do, that was just the text, right? I'm just hiding that. And I'm going to come into the layer effects and I'm gonna click on that folder right there and I'm actually gonna add a new layer. Now I'm gonna come over here to my shape tool and draw like a hexagon. Now watch this. It's in the layer effects folder. So everything, all those layer options that we just added are automatically applied to whatever layer we put into that folder. That is a really cool effect. Another reason that you do this, I'll bring the text layer back for stroke. Now we can go in here and actually edit this. So I can take this away and type effect and boom, every layer effect that we added since we kept it in our layer effects folder is going to take on the layer options effects that we added to that text all right guys i hope this tutorial found you well if you're looking to create some really nice popping youtube thumbnails try using this layer effect folder tool in your next creation